Hello children. In this video, we are going to study triangle chapter exercise 2.3, the 15th and the 16th sum. These are the last sums in these two in this exercise. First, we'll see the 15th sum. A vertical pole of a length 6 meter casts shadow 4 meter long on the ground. One vertical pole is there. That one I will take as a AB. Cast a shadow of BC. I will take shadow. What they are saying? A vertical pole of a length 6 meter. 6 meter. Cast a shadow of 4 meter. Length of the shadow is vertical pole will be perpendicular to the ground. On the ground. And at the same time, a tower cast a shadow 28 meter long they did not give the length of the tower here but they are saying cast a shadow of 28 meter long sorry really how to take it this is p q is a tower here this is pole and this is tower and this also will be perpendicular to the ground means 90 degree this tower is cast a shadow of 28 meter this is a shadow find the height of the tower this height of the tower we want to find here that one i will take as x okay first we will write what they have given here we want to find the height of the tower What they given here? First we will okay we will take a b equal to before going to write the given we will write what we have taken. Let a b be the height of the tower height of the let AB be the height of the pole, it is sorry, height of the pole and BC be the shadow, shadow of the pole and uh, PQ be the height of the height of the tower and uh, QR we will take this one QR be the shard of the shard of the tower okay now we will write given what they have given they have given height of the pole a b is equal to 6 meter and uh, b c 4 meter and p q we only want to find we have to take that as a x just you take as a x and uh, q r equal to 28 meter if you want to find the value of x first you have to prove these two triangles are similar here for that we have to consider these two triangles a b c and a p q r in triangle a b c and triangle p q r solution we are writing what proof of the result in these two triangles here I already, we already know that always pole and tower anything will be perpendicular to the ground here it is 90 degree here also it is 90 degree therefore angle ABC is equal to angle PQR is equal to 90 degree and uh, one more thing these angles will be equal here angle of elevation at the same time they are telling here a vertical pole of a length 6 meter cast a shadow 4 meter long on the ground and at the same time both are at the same time means both angles will be equal here angle of elevation will be equal therefore this from here if you are showing means this angle of elevation will be equal so ACB 
is equal to P R Q because angle of elevations are equal at the same time. Angle of elevation will be equal at same time. Therefore, two angles of this triangle are equal to two angles of this triangle. Means ABC and PQ are means we can say triangle ABC is similar to triangle PQR by AA criteria. Then if you prove these two triangles are similar, we can say sides are proportional. Which sides are proportional? We have to consider AB by PQ. AB is corresponding to PQ and BC is corresponding to QR. So AB divided by PQ is equal to is equal to AB by PQ is equal to BC by BC by QR. We know AB. Just I will substitute here. AB what is there? 6. PQ we have to find it is equal to BC 4 by 28. Here we want to find X no? Cross multiply it. 28 will go here. It will become 4x is equal to 6 into 28. I have written like this. x is equal to this 4 I will transfer here. It will come to denominator. 6 into 28 divided by 4. 4 1s are 4 7s are. So x is equal to 6 into 7 is 42 meter or centimeter meters therefore therefore height of the fold will be sorry therefore height of the tower is tower x is equal to 42 meter this is the answer for this just simplification however you get you want you can do it next we'll see the 16th sum now 16 somewhat they have given. We'll see. If AD and PM are medians of triangles ABC and PQR respectively, where triangle ABC and similar to triangle PQR, prove that AB divided by PQ is equal to AD by PM. First, we'll draw the triangle ABC and PQR here. Like this, sums already you solved. 2, 3 sums, 3 sums, this is the third sum. A, B, C and a triangle P, Q, R. P, Q, R. Here, if A, D and P, M are medians of a triangle, A, D is a median of triangle A, B, C and P, M is a median of a triangle P, Q, R. And here they are saying triangle ABC is similar to triangle PQR. If these two triangles are similar means we know that all the three sides, all the three angles of this triangle are equal to all the three angles of the other triangle and sides are proportional. And we have to prove here AB by PQ is equal to AD by PM. What the result we want to prove that you have to observe. Now first we will write given. Given triangle ABC is similar to triangle PQR means here all the three angles of this triangle are equal to all the three angles of a triangle PQR. Therefore angle A is equal to angle P. Angle B is equal to angle Q. Angle C is equal to angle R. And also, AB by PQ is equal to BC by, see, AB, PQ, BC by QR is equal to AC by PR. 
and here they have given that AD and PM are the medians of a triangle. AD will divide the opposite side into two equal parts, these two. And here PM will divide the opposite sides into two equal parts. So instead of here, what I will do, I will multiply and divide to this half. I will multiply half and divide half here. I will multiply half to the numerator and multiply half to the denominator also. That will not make any difference there. So AB divided by PQ is equal to half of BC divided by half of QR. Why I am doing this? Because if you want to get this result, we want to prove ADB and PMQ are similar triangles because AB and PQ and AD and PM are the sides of a triangle ABD and PQM. So I am doing this. This ratio we don't want. Just you leave that. AB by PQ is equal to half of BC. I will write that as a BD by half of QR you take as a QM. This one you take as equation 1. Now here what we want to prove this result we want to prove. For that which two triangles we have to consider I said you ABD. This ABD triangle and a PQM triangle you have to consider. In triangle ABD and this is the proof or solution. In triangle ABD and a triangle PQM angle B is equal to angle Q. Angle B is equal to angle Q. It is angle B is equal to angle Q. It is given because we know that these two triangles are similar. So angle B equal to angle Q it is given. Now just now we proved one result here. AB divided by PQ is equal to BD divided by QM. It is proved. How we proved that this one why I have written half of here because I can write AD and PM are medians of triangle ABC and triangle PQR respectively. Now see one angle. One angle of this triangle is equal to one angle of the triangle PQM and uh, two sides are proportional. Which are the two sides? AB divided by QP PQ divide equal to BD QM. Two sides are proportional and including angle is equal. These two sides are proportional and including angle is equal. Means we can say triangle ABD is similar to triangle PQM. Therefore, triangle ABD is similar to triangle PQM by SAS two sides and one angle by SAS criteria. If these two triangles are similar, we can write the ratio easily now. So AB by PQ is equal to see this corresponding sides will be in proportional. So AD by PM I can write AD by this is the result we want to prove. This exercise is completed. In the next video, we are going to study areas of similar triangle. If you like this video, please like, share and subscribe my channel. Thank you.